Archie. Yeah. Listen, I got a new assignment for you. You're not gonna like it, but the boss wants to get this off his hands as soon as possible, so bear with me. I'm still here. Really? Okay, so uh, how, how should I put this? This new thing, it's kind of psychological, if you know what I mean. So, the office received the new statistics, you know, for the past year. Now, the boss, he gets an idea. Not much of an idea, if you ask me, but... Okay, so he looks at numbers right away and he bursts out with a plan. What numbers? These depression numbers and these anxiety numbers, you know, how many cases of this and how many cases of that. And he starts thinking and he says to me, you know, Tom, these numbers, they're related. Which numbers, Jim? I says to him. And he says, these numbers, the ones here, the depression numbers, and the ones here, the bridge crossing numbers. I says, which bridge crossing numbers? And he says, the annual numbers of the people who walk across a bridge. And I says, well, beats me. I didn't even know we kept track of how many people walk across bridges. And he smiles and he says, my idea. And he pokes himself in the chest with his big fat thumb and he continues to smile. I see, I says to him. And he says, they are connected. And I said, what's connected? And he says, the reason there's more people with depression and anxiety is because they've stopped walking across bridges. And I look at him and I says, oh really? And he says to me, yep, and I'm gonna fix it. Call Archie. I've got a job for him. And here I am calling you. Uh -huh. And he wants me to... To advertise. Advertise? Advertise what? Bridges. Not exactly just bridges. More like walking across bridges. He wants you to advertise why it's so great to walk across bridges. And he thinks if we increase the number of people who walk across bridges, then our numbers for depression and anxiety will go down. Personally, I think he's nuts, of course, but... So how's your new assignment? Almost done. I have just one or two more things to work out, and that's it. You said it was about bridges? That's right. Not exactly.
Yes, Jim. I've been on every bridge in the city, and I can't find him. Of course, I've tried calling him and all that. Look, I know he said he wasn't finished, but you know Archie, he's always fiddling. My opinion? Well, yes. I think that hits the spot. Good to go? Sure, sure. Yes, have your boys look over it. Okay, Jim, uh, I'll keep trying. You rise above the city. You ascend and look and see and conquer with your sight. The streets, the buildings, the waters, the boats, the work and daydream of the offices. The elements swirl, combine, the gray road, the water shimmering, the air vigorous. You're in the middle of the city, the urban core, and yet you're suspended in midair, floating, flying. It's not clear exactly when, but at a certain point on the bridge, you enter a different realm, adjacent, related, but different in the city proper. You do not experience any real disorientation. And yet you feel awkward. Perhaps you feel that in some way the bridge has taken command over you, guiding you, leading you, releasing you from yourself. You are filled with the vibrancy of the traffic, the energy, the bustle. You are lulled by the calm reflections of the sun and the glory of the clouds. As you walk, you divide the bridge into zones. You cross these zones one by one, and at a certain point, you enter the zone of memory, where you can't but think of your childhood, of school, of your first love, your first heartbreak. And with each step, you either project yourself into the past, or imagine a future self, you begin to see lost reflections of yourself in the jagged glass of the high-rises, in the faces of people walking past, the girl jogging, the man with the backpack, the three friends laughing, the bald man in shorts taking pictures. You begin to see others as a theater of all your possible selves. And you feel that every encounter is an encounter of mirrors, and mirrors reflecting mirrors. When you start to see the end in sight, you feel that your divided self has been transferred to the divided bridge. When you look at the bridge now, you begin to see parts of you that before were hidden, invisible, and then you reach the other shore. Without harm, without injury, without jet lag, slightly reborn. Such a simple pleasure, available to all, anytime. Walk those bridges, they're waiting for you. Hi, Jim. Yes, we looked under the bridges as well. No, there's, there's no sign of them. New guy. 
For the next assignment? Sure, Jim. Yeah, I was thinking of him as well. Yeah, he's, he's a bit sloppy. Yes, yes. I know Jim. Yes, Jim. Yes. I think he'll get the job done. Okay? Jim? 